and all. It has been a few videos. My name is Shadow the Late, and welcome to the PWC Season 8. We have a Oshawalt duel this time. I'm used to doing Dark Trek games. We have Zoroga and the Flippers, as well as Howl and the South Coast Snowscapes. And they're, they're both two new coaches looking to uh, make, and make their names known in this league, and they're both doing pretty well so far, both of which are looking to further extend their playoff hopes and secure some dominance, build a legacy. For Zoroga, we have Yoko Dayatsi, the Gliscore, the Battle Axe Stings. I'm just going to stop doing this bit in the Crosma Quillfish. Zarude Sandstorm. And for Howl, we have the Frost Moth, a.k.a. the Mistake from God. Godshop, Primarina, Skarmory, the Boy, and uh, the, the Blacephalon. You may begin looking into lead matchups. A lot of garbage from both sides. Obviously, Garchomp is a good lead to anything. However, the promise of- Never mind, we're going right in. Primate the anti-lead and the Crosma to do whatever the Crosma does. It can do anything. Like, it could probably do your taxes for you if you asked it nicely enough. It probably will. I asked it really nicely. Hey, Gar the Crosma, can you do my taxes for me? And it will do that in the form of Photon Geysering your taxes. Hey, I never said he do them correctly. So... As you know, the is probably going to lose one one to a Primarina, barring a Specs or Scarf set. Actually, wait, the Cross is faster naturally. So it all comes down to who has the bulk and who has the power. But both of them very terrifying as leads. And yeah, like Primarina, not what it did. Oh, Meteor Beam! Zoroga is going right for the Meteor Beam, and it hits with the force of a train. Oh, baby! And Thief? What? Oh, dang, Zoroga has earned my respect for Heat of the Week. And Photon Geyser is coming out. Okay. So there's a plus one, the Krosma, with leftovers. Excellent setup by Zoroga. He planned this matchup out from turn one, and I gotta respect it. <laughs> bravo, bravo indeed. As for what, uh, as for what Howell does here, he's in a bit of a pickle here. Sort of. Frostmoth can't take this thing, bowling a since he can't use Meteor Beam again immediately, and Snorlax could take it on 1v1. However, there is the worry of Necrozma overpowering it, or having a strong fourth move in the back, because we don't know if it has Heat Wave or not. It could very realistically have Heat Wave. It's unlikely, but what you have to do with Frostmoth, you don't exactly want to rely on dual uh, Meteor Beam going for it twice. But regardless, excellent prep. I love Meteor Beam setups. It's just like, you never see it coming, yet it goes from 0 to 100 so quickly. But yeah, the only plays I can see here are maybe Primarina if you're a Soul Vest, Snorlax if you're willing to compromise the sweep, or Frostmoth if you want to go for a counter sweep, which, to be fair, Frostmoth has the potential to do, considering it is a Terra Captain. And he goes into Snorlax, setting the compromise sweep in favor of a sturdy tank, which can deal with Macrozma safely. A very safe option, which is very respectful. And Photon Geyser is coming out to do... 42, bulky, and oh, this is Fizz Death Necrozma. I believe it's Fizz Death Necrozma. Oh, okay, Zoroga really did plan this out, and the guy is coming out. Zoroga knows he's safe, as long as he dodged the para. Oh, he doesn't dodge the para! You hate to see it. So the sweep from Skullx has been compromised, but it's fine. Necrozma has been stopped, and the morning sun! Oh, Red is gonna come out. If Zoroga does what I think he does here, he's, he gains the chat status. <gasps> he goes for another Meteor Beam! Absolutely dope you. And, oh, he doesn't have Sleep Talk. Very fair, I've gone without Sleep Talk multiple times. And the Meteor Beam's not coming out, but it's fine. He got the plus two boost. And the double para! Dang, the hacks. Zoroga got the heat, but he does not have the hacks. Unfortunate. Oh, three paras in a row! This is just a matchup of hacks versus prep, and I love it. <clears throat> Loving it. But up bum bum bum. Yeah, the question is, I think Zor I think Zoroga has to go for a Photon Geyser and then pray he can get the morning sun off. Oh, he's going for another curse. And then he does not have time. He just has to pray that the cross breaks through. And if he doesn't, well Stoics won't win. He has stuff in the back for it. But still, that is a big Oof. And no Photon Geyser is coming out. Going to kill the Snorlax. Crisis averted for one of them. But now, what is... Well, actually, no. Spec Shadow Ball should be able to finish the Necrozma. But honestly, even if it dies here, the Necrozma put in more than enough work. Although, is Aruga going to have the balls to try and do this again later in the duel? 
Nope, he doesn't. He just lets it go down, but the Photon Geyser will take the Placephalon down with it. Oh, my dear lord. Oh, lordy, lordy. Insane prep from Zoroga. This man is 3 0 for a reason. He clearly knows what he's doing because he prepped well. And this is only from one mon. Like, this, the Crosswood just threw down the gauntlet and said, I'm here till I die. He threw down the gauntlet, and he will not leave. Zoroga loves us the Crosma, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to love this thing too. Insane. Now, Frosma should be able to finish the job here, but honestly, his team is so crippled. Barring a miraculous paralysis in the Quivernance combo, I don't see a way how it can win this. Then again, as we've established, attacks versus skill. So maybe, just maybe, a pair could secure him the victory. Depending on what the Diancy or Haxorus are. Let's see what happens. Photon Geyser comes out. How much does it do? Oh, it kills anyway! Dang, even with Icy Scales and a Spadef Boost, you just not get... A sp yeah, you are just... There is no stopping this man! Oh my lord, yeah, no matter, like, the Crosby can, can go down here. He counts that wrong. Big oof. Well, now Primuna can finish the job, but yeah, his team was too crippled to win. What can he do? Like, dang, this was a massacre via... Oh yeah, Photon Guys, does the Photon Guys ignore abilities? Apparently it does, according to Zoroga. I'm not gonna fact check him on that. So be spreading misinformation on the internet. He can, he'll, he'll get away with it today. Because I am not going to stop him. Now watch, the cross is going to live one. Now, does the rogue get disrespectful here and go for the 6-0? How disrespectful does he want to be? Let's see what he does. Nope, he just got an ice beam, let it go down. That is fine. That's fine. The Crosma put in way too much work, and honestly, this is definitely Mon of the Week from what I've seen. I haven't seen a lot. But yeah, Zarud comes in. The play I expect to happen, and probably what I would have done too. There's an argument for Quillfish, but there's just no need. There is no need. Zarud is safe. And the question is, what is the Guard Chomp set? Because surprisingly, nope, if it was Scarfed, I was going to say it's not too late, but it's too late. Power just comes out. And Garchomp's just eternally walled by Gliscor. There is nothing he can do. This duel is over! I think. Unless. Unless, unless, unless. I don't know what I'm saying. My brain just shuts off. Oh, Trailblaze! Dang, the Sniper Monkey coming out. And he's not gonna try it. And Quillfish coming out. That is a shiny... Well, Quillfish has an ugly shiny. Ew! Earth is going to come out, not even two shining it as he's trying to Icy Wind. Oh! Can he live one more and go for the kill? Oh, he lives on one! That wouldn't have killed regardless. Dang. This is just, like I said, a matchup of hacks versus prep. Ay, ay, ay. Now, what can Garchomp do to the Gliscor? The answer is nothing. And the Toxic Orb, just for the flex. Knockoff comes out, getting rid of the Assault Vest. Good to know that. Probably could have read that if I had a Calc up. But Liquidation's not going to do anything. Although, good for him, I didn't realize Garchomp got Liquidation. And yeah, this duel was over a absolute massacre from Zoroga. GG's, there is not much how it could have done. Hell, he got a lot of hacks. Like, Zoroga was as a god, man. Like, I fully believe this man's getting promoted to Dartrix or even Typhlosion Division next season. Ay, 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 the Krosma for MVP. And if you think you if you want to join the league, have me take a shot at Soroka yourself. Join in the description below. See you guys then. Next time. I don't know what then is. Fuck it, recording's over!